Several phenomena we experience involve the diffusion of specific kind of contents. Viruses, ideas, innovation, word of mouth, gossips. Her whole object, the spread over a social tissue. In order to spread, diffusive processes need the social structure. A social structure is commonly modeled as a network. Individuals, know that the network, are the agents that spread or adopt a given behavior or idea. Several models are being described to model different kinds of spreading. They allow each node to experience a finite set of statuses, and they describe how a node changes status. A classic example is provided by SIR model, where three states are defined. S, susceptible, I, infected, R, recovered. And two rules specify how nodes can move from S to I and from I to R. And the lib groups together models coming from two different backgrounds, epidemic and opinion dynamics. It is designed to provide a standard way to describe, simulate and visualize the unfolding of diffusive phenomena over a complex network structure. Indeed, NDLib aims to reach an heterogeneous audience, composed by technicians as well as analysts coming from several disciplines. A technician is a user that leverages NDLib to fine-tune model simulation and to design novel models. An analyst is a user that employs HandyLib to perform visual analytics. It prefers to focus on experiment design and result interpretation rather than to program novel models. To approach such audience, HandyLib offers a complete ecosystem composed of a Python library, an experiment server designed to provide simulation as a service, and a visual interface for those users who want to perform experiments but are not willing to write Python code. The core of MDLib is a Python package available for Python 2.7 and 3. In the following example, we will learn the basic of the library, describing a simple SIR simulation. As a first step, we install the library from the GitHub project repository. Then we import its main dependency, NetworkX, as well as the handy lib model we selected for our simulation. In our case, the SIR1. Now we can initialize the simulation. To do so, we start creating a graph object, for example, an Erdos-Schrenig graph. Then we instantiate the SIR model. Each diffusion model has its own parameters. To instantiate the simulation, we need to specify them using a configuration object. To execute the SIR model, we specify the value of beta, the infection rate, and gamma, the recovery rate. Moreover, we specify the initial percentage of infected nodes. Now we execute the simulation. In this case, we execute 200 diffusion iteration. Finally, we can visualize the simulation result through the adoption of the diffusion trend plot and the diffusion prevalence one. Diffusion processes are sensible to the initial system condition. To analyze the impact that the initial set of infected nodes has on the diffusion evolution, we implemented the facilities to easily secure several times in parallel the simulation of the same model over a given network topology. Through the multi-run function, we can specify the number of independent model instances as well as iteration. Results of parallel execution can be fed directly to all handy lib visualization endpoints thus producing plots in which the average trends lines along with a user-defined percentile range are shown. And the lips allows also to compare the infection trend of different models. To compare the execution of different models, in the example SI and SIR, the library exposes some additional visualization facilities such as the diffusion trend comparison one. We develop a RISPOL service, and Handylib REST, that exposes all the models and facilities offered by Handylib.
The simulation server is designed around the concept of experiment. Each experiment, identified by a unique identifier, is composed of two entities, a network and one or more configured models. Experiments are used to keep track of the simulation definition, to return consecutive model iteration to the user, and to store the current status of the diffusion process. On top of NDLib list is built NDLib feeds, a web-based visual framework designed for analysts. HandyLib Vids provides the same facilities of the HandyLib library to those users that prefer to avoid writing code. It employs the same experiment concept introduced by HandyLib REST. As a first step, we create an experiment and a network. Once the network has been created, it's rendered on the screen in the viewport. At the second step, we instantiate one or more diffusion models to attach it to the network. Each model is simulated according to the specific of NDLib REST. After that, we can choose the number of iterations to execute. An aggregate visualization of each model is presented in a block containing the reference to the model and its parameter. Two charts to show diffusion trend and diffusion prevalence plots. The right part show the result of the simulation for each model. The left view presents a visualization of the status of each node. Each node is assigned a color to represent its status in a specific time instant of the simulation. NDLib is an open source project. It was developed within Simplex H 2020 EU project and made available through the Sobit Data Catalog.